land the airplane. It's unique because sometimes you're never looking through the same window out the front of the airplane. There might be some wind and the, the plane crabs into the wind, so you're looking out a different window which may have a little bit of parallax in it. You land the airplane, you're off in the runway, by the time you taxi it back in, that's 10 minutes. And of course, you really want you in a specific spot. It takes another five minutes to get in the right spot. You gotta shut down, do all those type of things. So even when we touch down, the time we're getting out of the airplane is almost another 20, 30 minutes. So a 15 minute flight may involve a two hour period from sitting in the seat to getting out of the seat. From the time the Wright brothers flew to the time the B-29 flew was 40 years. The Wright brothers airplane did not fly from wingtip to wingtip on the B-29. And 40 years later we had the B-29 that would fly 16, 17, 18 hours, you know, an amazing feat. Of course then 40 years from the B-29 we had the space shuttle. So you're talking about leaps of technological advances and the B-29 was one of those. That was it, Chief. That was awesome. All right, sir. How was the Phenomenal. flight? A little bit of history flying on that, the B-29. I got to take pictures as I was, as I was flying up there. I'll tell you what. Um, these guys, they, they keep the heritage and history alive, and I definitely appreciate it. It puts a smile on my face. It puts a smile on my face. Thank you for the opportunity here. Yeah, no, but like